video you get uh, Friday vlog day with me doing dishes there's a lot of them and they gotta get done and I was on the road today a lot more than I thought I was going to be uh, because I had no way of judging distance and time evidently uh, aka so hi today's Friday Gotta get the vlog out. That's why I'm doing dishes and vlogging. And this is one of my few days off. I had about two weeks uh, fully off. Um, and so I really needed to get down to the storage unit and do some work down there. So that's where I spent most of my morning. Uh, and now, of course, it means that I finished work at the storage unit. I gotta do work up here. Some of which follows after the work done at the storage unit, uh, others did not. For example, what follows? Well, I picked up, um, what I did was I went through my book list that I have and sort of picked out books off the list that I currently don't have in my home office that are in storage. And then I went down there and collected far more than what I originally picked off of the list, but uh, so they're now all in a bucket in my office. So the book list needs to get updated because right now the book list shows whether or not they're in storage or if they're in the apartment. So I've got to update, update the book list to show that all these books are now in the apartment and not in storage. <laughs> and then I need to add books that I picked up today on the book list and actually order my bookshelves uh, because I'm really not happy with where they're sitting right now because I'm running into problems like I've got a couple books from this series called uh, a, brief, a brief history of so do I put the series together or do I put the book from the series with the topic it's about. For example, I have a brief history of King Arthur. Do I put that then? It's hot out. I've got this uh, lovely towel hanging out, not because I'm doing dishes, but because I am sweating a lot. Yay. Yeah, so I do, do I put a brief history of King Arthur with the other brief history books, or do I put it with the other King Arthur books? Right? Like, that's just not a, question I have an answer for right now. So I'm gonna have to like sit down with the bookcase. Uh, but for other things that need to get done, hi, I'm clearly doing dishes and I need to dust and vacuum the house. Like Tiggs is shedding everywhere, which makes sense because she's a fur covered being and I am not and I'm still sweating. So like, I got, I got a dust and vacuum. But I mentioned like my full day off, like today is one of my two full days off because there are a couple shifts that I work, including a shift tomorrow that is like the late shift. It's the closed shift and it only goes from 4.30 to 9.30. So, I mean, I have most of the day then tomorrow to also do some of this stuff. So it becomes a question of like, what gets done on my day off versus gets done when I have late shifts. And I've got to be really careful about that because like with the late shift, I still have, is that a five hour shift that I have to work? I still have a five hour shift that I have to work. So I don't want to like overwhelm myself trying to get everything done and then run into the fact that I'm, I burnt myself out um, while still having a five hour shift to do, right? So, like, the harder stuff that is going to be time-consuming, like my work at the storage unit today, or just isn't very fun, like dusting and vacuuming the entire apartment. Uh -huh. Oh, I must look so gross, um, like dusting and vacuuming the entire apartment. I'm going to have to do today simply because then when I hit this evening, I can take the evening off, right? Like, 
I don't have a five hour shift, I then have to work. But organizing my bookshelf, which should hopefully be a little more relaxed, wouldn't be that problematic to do before I have the cloak shift, right? So it's, it's really trying to like work with what I have and work with my own head. Uh, but working with my own head has not gone super well this week. I am just emotionally jumping all over the place. And I think part of that's because of the heat, right? Like it is literally so hot that I'm sweating here, sweating, just standing here doing dishes. And I don't sleep well in the heat. So between the heat and the lack of sleep, like I'm an emotional Jenga tower right now. <laughs> and some days are perfectly fine. Like the last day I had off was Tuesday and Tuesday was absolutely lovely. Like I got laundry done, I got groceries done, I cooked banana bread and it turned out well. I filmed a, another Friday fun day video. In fact, next week's the outcome was not as I was expecting, but that's fine because I got the video done at least. And I got to feel like super domestic. Like I just listened to my record player at one point and was rolling a ball of yarn that I'm using on one of my other projects. Like that was nice. I felt perfectly fine and relaxed. Like I wasn't rushed. i would gotten tons of things done. I've been working, like I said, on my own projects. And then the next day where I had like a long shift I was supposed to work, like an eight hour shift, emotional train wreck of a person went into work that day. That was me. To the point where like my boss is like, hey, let's go for a walk. If you need to leave early today, that's okay. And I was like, you know what? Maybe I kind of do. Maybe everything in my head is going wrong. But like it's such a roller coaster, like to be perfectly fine one day and then an absolute wreck the next. It's not fun. Like I wanna be on the happy end, but I would like to have just like a steady go of it. I mean yesterday was kind of like that. Earlier in the day I wasn't feeling super great. But after I finished work, I came home and read an entire book. And it was nice. I mean, I started reading the entire book because I was anxious and needed to focus on something, but then I enjoyed the book well enough that reading the entire book wasn't like a problem and it became not a stress thing anymore, which was nice. But that's, that's what I mean. Like, why did it start out as a stress thing and not end as a stress thing? And, why was it a stress thing when, like, I had even gotten off work earlier that day and nothing went wrong at work? In fact, some goals we've been meeting, which is nice. Other goals we haven't, but I've also gotten to the point where just, for certain things, it's not a big deal to me because they're, like, added bonuses. But my life is not going to be, like, made or wrecked on the back of this job. And I'm sort of realizing that, right? Like, I could just remain calm, cool, and collected if my head would let me. And we'll get through work. Things are going to be fine. Takes is mad I'm talking to the camera, but not in a place that she can't cuddle with me. So you'll hear her in the background there. So, I mean, like, nothing big has happened one way or the other. Like, I'm definitely, I recognize I'm fully in a holding pattern uh, until we hit September where my program starts. But, like, that's not the worst thing in the world. I know it's not the best, but it's not the worst thing in the world. And sometimes that's what you've got to focus on, right? Um, admittedly, though, uh, over the past two weeks, I have sort of realized that, like, in a lot of ways, I haven't been doing the hard work of self-care. And I've, I've started realizing like, the implications of that here and there. Um, 
So <laughs> I'm now bribing myself into doing it. So I was very anxious one night and ended up on Redbubble and I made myself like a Redbubble wish list. And then afterwards realized that like that wasn't helpful at the time and I wasn't doing like I said the actual hard work like I haven't made been making sure I go out and get fresh air and I haven't been sure making sure that I'm drinking enough water and then I'm talking to people when necessary and things like that so um that red bubble wish list might not have helped at the moment but it's become the thing I'm bribing myself with. Basically, I've picked two goals to work on for July and then two for August, which are self-care related that aren't uh, Angie buys herself chocolate because it's been a hard day, a boo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. In fact, one of those goals is limiting myself on the amount of chocolate and sweets that I'm eating because the easy self-care is here's chocolate because it makes you feel better in the short term. The hard self-care is here's a little bit of chocolate, but not so overly much that you're causing problems for yourself in the future. Right? Like, if that makes sense. So, like I've got a couple goals, like I said, two for the month of July and two for August and then I told myself what I get if I make those goals from my red bubble wish list and so far I'm doing okay it has had to really be like a conscious thing like a conscious reminder to myself like no you want what's on your wish list so you can't do that or you have to do this and things like that Water is a big one right now, especially with how hot it is. Oh, this is going to take a while. Okay. There, that works. That works. Used this in a recipe recently. Thought I rinsed it off well. I was wrong. This is why you always gotta double check these things, right? So, I mean, between those goals and the fact that I am going to DND on Monday nights, uh, which is really helpful for like socialization, and it's sort of been interesting to hear that from some of the other people involved too, um, that like this is going to be good for them and like so I'm okay saying like yeah this is good for me. Altogether is, it's pretty nice uh, and things that have already gotten interesting, aka we're setting up for like a raid by the hobgoblins. We've booby trapped the town. Uh, <laughs> uh, I've already wrecked a spider queen, like, makeshift shrine inside an Everlight shrine because it's not supposed to be there. <laughs> I mean, it means Mondays for me, like, are very long. Because usually I have an open shift and then I have a walking tour and then I book it up to D&D. &D. But like I said, it's been good. And the socialization outside of work is also good. And surprisingly, I noticed with last week's whole Spider Queen in Everlight that acting out even semi-aggressive emotions in a safe space and being able to detach them from myself directly and have it be my character also surprisingly helpful so i mean altogether 
on getting tools together to be able to deal with things. And I think the big thing I have to remind myself of right now is like, it's not magically going to be fixed. Like there's not one problem I can point to and say all of my stresses, my anxiety, my depression are based on this one thing. And if I can fix it, it all goes away. Like no, it's all about tools in my toolbox. Other tool I recently got, weighted blanket, which has been again, very good for coming down from being like anxious and, and addressing part of that anxiety physically. So it's all about the tools. It is so hot in here. Okay. I think you've probably hung out long enough. Do I want to know how long this video is? Not the worst one I've done. Uh, we're pushing like 17 minutes now. So um, I'm gonna have to refill the sink anyway. It's like I've killed all the soap and it's not that much left, but I really do need to scrub this pot. So I'm gonna let you go, finish up some dishes, probably take a break to like edit this and get it rendering before I dust and then like break to get it posted before I vacuum and then I'm good for the evening and then I'll deal with books tomorrow like that's allowable right and also like capable of being done we're gonna go with that plan so I will talk to you later